This is Holly. Today is December 22nd, 2011. I'm here in Panama City, Panama, and I'm standing in the lobby of the Torres del Alba apartment hotel where I've been staying for the last week and a half for continuing stem cell treatment. Now, you know, I can't believe it's already been three years since I had my first successful stem cell treatment. Um, I did such amazingly well, I can't even believe it. Um, at the time I had my first treatment, I went on a message board and I posted. I, I said I would share all of the good and the bad. I gotta tell you that in three years there have been so much more positive than negative. Um, but I have to be honest because that's what I said I'd always do. My MS keeps wanting to creep back. You know, stem cell therapy isn't a one shot deal for me. Um, it's not a quick fix. And unfortunately, about once a year, my MS wants to rear its ugly head and wants to, you know, create that little tingling in my fingers and my toes, um, wants to play havoc with my balance every once in a while. And so during that time frame, you know, I'm back on the phone, I'm email, I'm like, okay. Um, the doctors are so great at the clinic that I went to at Cell Medicine. Um, they answer my emails, <laughs> they get back to me. Um, you know, when I had my first treatment, nobody really had all the answers. It's still such a new medicine, a form of medicine, that um, everybody's learning as they go along. And I'm okay with that. I chose that path for me, and um, I'm going to continue to turn towards stem cells. Now, i got to tell you that I came back a couple of months ago for them to, ex you know, to extract more of my own stem cells from fat. And that mini lipo is still a surgery, and it did put me into a true flare-up. So when I went home, and those of you who have MS understand what a true flare-up is. When I went home, I rested. I waited for the surgery to heal, um, hoping that that round of stem cells would really do it. It didn't, you know. <laughs> I'm selfish now because I've had such great results, and I want to continue to move in positive directions. Um, now that I can think clearly again, that I can drive my car again, that I can travel by myself. I'm here by myself. Raj, uh, my longtime boyfriend, is still in San Diego watching our dogs and our, our business. And um, I'm just so lucky to be ha having the potential that I had, um, the success that I've had. So I'm back down here. Now, that last light bulb I had didn't do it. And so I kept the doctors informed and um, I said, okay, what are we going to do now? What's next? I'm not on any drug therapies any longer, and um, because I had such great results with stem cells, I'm going to keep turning towards that. So I'm back down here, and I got a week and a half worth of injections, stem cell injections, and I got to tell you that this is the best Christmas gift to myself ever. <laughs> I was able to walk up and down stairs today. I was able to walk across a very busy intersection for dinner tonight by myself and not fall and not get hit by a car. Um, tomorrow I am flying home, seven hour flight back to San Diego by myself and uh, I'm not worried at all. Um, I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful to the professionals, the doctors, the men and the women that make it possible the researchers worldwide that continue to, you know, learn about the potential of stem cells and, um, and put it in an environment that can be useful for patients someday. Um, I hope that someday I'll be able to do it in the United States, but for now, I'm going to turn to, you know, offshore clinics, and I'm okay with that. I've had such amazing results. So I just wanted to wish everybody a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays, and, you know, best wishes for everyone for the new year. I thank God for for the success that I've had and I wish everybody you know whatever path you're taking and however you're treating your illness or your ailment or your injury I'm wishing you all the best too you know be positive stay a self-advocate and uh, we'll all overcome together and be each other's support so Merry Christmas